Let's tell you about this now. EFF supporters have started to gather in Durban where the party is launching its election manifesto. The party is hoping to fill the 56,000 seater Moses Mabida Stadium. Party leader Julius Malema will be outlining the party's promises to South Africans ahead of this year's general elections. Newsroom Africa's Ziandang Ngobo and Karinda Jagmohan are standing by to give us a sense of what it is that you are both seeing and hearing. Let's start with you, Zianda Ngobo. There were some delays in people accessing the stadium. You are now standing by to speak to Sinawa Tambo of the EFF to tell us whether that backlog has been cleared. A very good morning to you, Dudu, from a very windy uh, Moses Mabida Stadium. Indeed, as you can hear, it, the energy in the stadium is picking up, and of course, this is because gates opened early this morning, and uh, the EFF leader is expected to speak uh, just after midday. Let's speak just now, Tampa, then, about uh, preparations going into this manifesto launch. It's the first uh, happening at Moses Mabida. You know that there are others that are coming here. What's going to make you guys so special? Special, especially when it comes to the issues um, that the youth face, which is your core constituency. Look, we are basically extending a symbolic appreciation to the people of KZN. So that's what makes us special. We're not coming here as copycats. We're not coming here because we saw someone else say they're coming here. We're coming here because the people of KZN voted in their numbers for the EFF in 2019, taking us from 2% up and almost 10%. And that shows that they have a vested interest in the existence of the EFF in the province. So we're here to show them that we've heard their call for us to come to them. We've heard their cry. We're coming to them as an organization to humble ourselves and present our plan of action to rescue them from the mess that they've been living in under the ANC. And uh, we know that uh, according to the latest IPSOS call, you are on a, a trajectory of growth in this province of KwaZulu Natal, but also overall uh, for the national vote, if this poll is uh, anything to go by. How much are you internally as the EFF projecting to grow in a province like KwaZulu Natal, given other dynamics such as um, a projection of the ANC dropping and the emergence of the Mkondo SCs where party? Is that now a threatening to take away from your potential vote? Absolutely not. So, firstly, we're not surprised by the Ipsos poll that has placed us as potentially the official opposition in South Africa. That is a natural road to power. So in order for us to govern South Africa, we have to get past certain obstacles. And that includes the racist opposition that is currently in South Africa today. So that poll is confirming that we are on the road to governance as we have predicted internally. We are not faced by the emergence of many political parties over the period in time that has occurred. Conway is not the only one. There are many other political parties that are taking a, an opportunity to contest the elections. We wish them well. We want to warn them that it's not easy and we have been in this terrain for more than 10 years now and we expect to govern whether they exist or not. Let's talk about today's uh, program. What time can we expect uh, your leader to speak? We were told that it should be just after midday. Are you on track as we see people trickling into the stadium? But we did hear that there were slight issues with access to the venue. Is this true? No, there's been no glitches or any problems, either outside on the way towards Mabida Stadium or even here. People are trickling their way in in their numbers. If you go outside, there are masses of people who are coming in very peacefully to avoid any chaos or stampede. So everything is on track. The formal program of today will begin at 12 o'clock. And as things stand, we are very confident that we are, of course, going to fill most of Mabida Stadium. But most importantly, deliver a message of hope to the people of South Africa who are currently under stage six load shedding, who are subjected to a fairy tale state of the nation address. We are going to give them practical solutions towards their own liberation in South Africa. All right, now Tambo speaks for the EFF, of course. We're now contending with the music here. You know the EFF is a young party, and, and so this is the kind of energy uh, that is uh, filling up this uh, stadium. Of course, you've just heard 12 noon is when we expect the leader of the EFF, um, or the program, I should say, the official program, to get underway. And so we'll be monitoring throughout the morning due to what's happening, and that's also um, a various vantage points, including where my colleagues uh, Karinda Jagmohan and Junior Kumar Absolutely. Zianda Ngobo, thank you very much for that. So from a very confident sounding leadership of the EFF to reflections from supporters. Karinda Jagmohan, you are covering this for us. Good morning. Good morning, Dudu. Well, as Zianda says, a young party indeed. We see 
many youth coming into the stadium currently. My colleagues, Kamal Lamazi, were showing you uh, the scenes just at the entrance of the Moses Mavira Stadium. And this is where you can see uh, the supporters coming in, collecting their shirts, collecting a uh, food pack as well, getting some artwork done, some stamps, and walking into the venue. We have um, young people coming through, and I just want to take you to a gentleman that we met from Prehe, traveling about four hours actually to come be here. Mr. Tejwa, thank you for speaking to us. Tell us about why you have decided to travel so far to come and see the EFF Man. Oh yeah, thanks for the opportunity. I'm here as Modus Madeira today. We are having a manifesto for EFF, Equal Freedom Fighters. Uh, today we are doing manifesto, that's why I'm here today. And I, I'm thankful for the opportunity to be here. Tell us, what do you think makes the EFF different from other parties? Why are you giving them your support? Because uh, EFF is a, is a Freedom Fighters that will fight for our rights. This is why I like film fighters and I will vote for it. It's not film fighters. And what are you expecting um, Julius Malema to address you on? What are the key issues you want him to touch? First of all, I would like to, uh, to receive our uh, job and our land in our uh, country. The, the, all of this. The most important things for you. Me too, again. Have a nice day. Thank you so much, Mr. Tejo, for speaking to us all the way from Prehe. And I want to actually show you some of what is placed on the seats here. Uh, if you just give us a moment to walk down the stairs. So as people are coming through, um, you see there are bottles of water, but also sanitary pads that are placed on each seat here um, for the ladies to collect, maybe for the males to collect and take to the women that they know. So that is just something that is provided to those who are coming into the stadium. And you can see people are slowly filling up. The EFF earlier this week said they expect the stadium to be full to capacity. So let's see what happens. Because as the end of the says, this program is expected to start around the minute. We'll keep you updated. Uh, Okay, Karinda Jagmohan, you do seem to be contending with the sound there, but we could get what it is you were trying to tell us in terms of some of the care packs that have been put there, more so for female attendees there at the event. The manifesto launch of the EFF in KwaZulu Natal, the program starting at midday, according to the party. As soon as that gets underway, we'll take you there. We